Hey guys, what's going on? Honest Abe Chicken in with a sports video update. Hope you guys are doing well on this Wednesday afternoon. Man, I tell you what, I am sorry for uh, the lack of videos the past couple days. I have, my allergies have been awful. I have not been feeling good. You can probably see it. I got, uh, I got poison sumac in my eye and it's all up in my eye. You can see it on my on my neck and and I got it all over my hand and it got into my lungs and I tell you what it has been a battle the past couple of days I am just starting to feel uh, better I'm still coughing like crazy but I tell you what that in the pollen here in East Tennessee man it has been a rough couple days for me but uh, man it hit it hit uh, probably Sunday uh, after the orange and white game and Oh my gosh, it was just, it was a battle, I tell you what. But I'm so glad to be back making some videos for you guys. Um, and I, I'm excited, I tell you what, I, I'm, I'm pumped up uh, right now. We got the NHL playoffs. Uh, first round action wrapping up tonight in Boston with Game 7. The only Game 7 of the first round. Our Nashville Predators, they advanced to Round 2. They'll play on Friday against the Winnipeg Jets. San Jose, Las Vegas Knights, um, they play uh, round two action coming up. But uh, I tell you what, I am looking forward to uh, round two of the NHL playoffs. Hopefully Boston will pick up the victory at home tonight, uh, and I'll probably be watching that game. And uh, But yeah, you know, NBA playoffs are still uh, in full swing, and we're going to bring you guys some more updates on that as we pump out some more videos and apparently the NFL drafts tomorrow. So I'll be watching that as well. We got the NFL draft. I'll be bringing you guys some updates on the NFL draft. Seeing where guys like, uh, you know, John Kelly, uh, Rashawn Golden, where they end up. Who's number one overall? Is it Josh Rosen? You know, who's it going to be? Uh, you know, where does uh, where's Lamar Jackson end up? Where does... Uh, where does some other guys, you know, end up that are, you know, that that are some pretty high draft picks? Who's going to jump around? What are my New York Giants going to do with the number two pick? What are the Cleveland Browns going to do with the number one and number four pick? You know, the New England Patriots uh, got a couple first round picks as well. What are they going to do uh, with their picks? You know, a lot of good talent uh, around around the NFL draft this year. Let's see what happens. It's going to be pretty exciting, so I'm going to be bringing you guys some coverage on that tomorrow. Uh, around 8 o'clock is when, when that all kicks off. But what I really wanted to talk about is Jeremy Pruitt and the Tennessee Volunteers. That's what I want to talk about in today's video. Um, now, Jeremy Pruitt is a Nick Saban guy. He, he went to Alabama 2007. He's been, he was there for basically 10 years, uh, you know, running the defense. And, you know, I, I really, really like his no-nonsense, all-business, um, you know, way of running things here at Tennessee. You know, and I didn't mind, you know, I went to the Orange and White game. I got there a little late, but, you know, I enjoyed, you know, the atmosphere, the game feel uh, of, of the Orange and White game, which is what he wanted. You know, he got rid of the autograph session. You know, you used to be able to go down on the field, interact with the players before the game, and stuff like that. They did away with that, kind of like, and they're going to do that fan day later on in August. So, I don't mind that terribly as much, but a lot of people seem to be, that, that was a turnoff for them. So, apparently they didn't show up uh, for for the orange and white game, which is really sad. You know, and Jeremy Pruitt, he even called out the fans on that, you know, saying like, the fans didn't show up as well as, you know, some of his players on his team didn't show up. And, you know, I don't mind him calling out people like that. This is very Nick Saban-esque when you look at it. Now, Nick Saban is all business, no nonsense, get right down to it. And it, he can come off kind of as a jerk sometimes when you're looking at it with the way he deals with the media and no media and practices and all this kind of stuff. Very straightforward, short answers. You know, and I've heard uh, a, lot of, a lot of Jeremy Pruitt's recent interviews and is very Nick Saban-esque. Now, I do not mind that as much. Here's the only drawback that I can see for it is that Tennessee fans are going to put Jeremy Pruitt on a very, very short leash when it comes to 
this type of attitude. Now, Nick Saban, when he was at Michigan State, even at even into LSU, he wasn't all like this. It wasn't all straight business. He was more interactive uh, with the media and stuff like that. Um, and there was there was a lot more back and forth, so to speak. Here, um, when he got to Alabama, it was straight business all the time, and you saw the the no media uh, in practices, very very limited access to players, no player interviews. Only person speaking really is the head coach, um, and Jeremy Pruitt has adopted this very much, and I do not mind that so much. Yet Tennessee fans are going to hold him to a short lease. Nick Saban can get away with this at Alabama. Why? Because he is a winner. He wins games. He wins national championships. That is why Nick Saban can be this way. That's why he can get away with being very short with the media, restricting their access completely, pretty much at some points, uh, to practices and stuff like that. Uh, you know, interviews very short on the point, short answers, doesn't go into details, doesn't give any details on injury reports, that sort of speak. Um, and Nick Saban can do that because he's winning championships. Now, I do not mind Jeremy Pruitt running the Tennessee program like this. I think it is probably needed at this point, and I kind of appreciate what he's doing. However, he's going to have to win ball games to uh, to pull this off because fans um, in in Tennessee and pretty much all across the country they want to win football games. And if you are not winning football games, you're going to get a lot of backlash. Um, and I hope he has the stomach for it uh, because I know that this first year is going to be tough. No one's expecting him to go and win the SEC this season. Okay, uh, you know what? I think what Tennessee fans are looking for is at least a 6-6 six and six season. They expect Jeremy Pruitt to take the Tennessee Vols to a bowl game this season. In years 2 and 3, you know, that's off the, uh, that's off the board now. Now we're looking at what are you doing to build the Tennessee football program and are you getting us in con in competition, in contention for an SEC East title, SEC championship, probably by year three or four? That is what Tennessee fans are looking for. Can Jeremy Pruitt pull that off? I don't mind the no nonsense. You know what? It's good. We need it, and I look forward to to seeing the way he interacts, especially when we start winning football games again here at Tennessee. And that comes off, and it's going to be very. There's going to be a lot of Nick Saban comparisons there, and it's going to be kind of funny, I think, uh, because you're going to see that uh, come out. I think quite a bit here in the fall. And you know what? I look forward to it. I enjoyed the orange and white game. I enjoyed what they did, um, and I think it's going to be good. I look forward to the fan day coming in August. I will probably be going to that as well. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Um, I don't mind the way Jer I think Jeremy Pruitt's doing a good job. Uh, you know, some people got gave him some backlash because of because uh, of the whole you know uh, calling out fans thing. I didn't mind it. You know what? He's right. Everybody's got to be on board. One hundred percent Tennessee. The fans, the coaches, the staff, uh, the football players, the administration. We got to be all in for Tennessee. So I don't mind it. I think it's a good thing. It's going to be a good transition. And you know what? Good things are happening here in Tennessee. So I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. I'll get back to you guys as always. And again, Honest Abe signing off. We'll see you guys.